What's going on everybody? Thanks so much for tuning in. This week we're going to be taking a look at my entry for the Blip Sounds November Sound Design Competition. We'll be taking a look at what I created and then we'll break down how I made it. So each month Blip Sounds puts out one of these sound design competitions and it's usually a video clip from some video game where you have to recreate the sound from that video clip. So for this month it's to recreate the accretion ability from Sigma from Overwatch. Now with most of their competitions, there's always a little catch, and this month's no different. This month, instead of creating sounds from scratch, they actually give you eight sounds, and you can only use those sounds. You can use them however you want, but you're limited to just those sounds. So before we dive into the design breakdown, let's take a look at the original, as well as what I created. All right, so the first thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to create some sort of ambience. Uh, that way we can kind of give it some space that we're in. And to achieve that, what I did was I actually took one of the sounds, which was a, a whoosh sound, which was intended for the rock flying across the screen. I went over to Audacity and I ran it through the Paul Stretch effect. So what started out as this, now ended up as this. Uh, from there, I ran it through the the Pro Tools Air Kill EQ, and we end up with just this real light, low uh, background ambience. So once I got done with the ambience, uh, the next thing that I wanted to focus on was just the yell uh, that you hear as he throws the rock, uh, which the original sound was this. And uh, what I did was I actually took it and I... I duplicated it out twice. Uh, one just has an EQ on it, just kind of has a, a general, um, it's, it's kind of a lo-fi effect. Uh, the next thing that I did was a ring mod. And on the third one, I just pitched it down a little bit. And then I ran all of those to a little bit of reverb to kind of give it some space. Uh, so then we end up with this. <laughs> So the next thing that I wanted to tackle uh, was, was Sigma forming the rocks. And since we're only limited to the sounds that were given to us, uh, one of those sounds just happened to be a bone breaking sound. And so what I did was I actually took this, um, I doubled it and I ran it through a pitch shift and just pitched it way down. I then sent that to a reverb. Uh, so this is what we end up with. And if you watch the video again, you'll notice that as he forms the rocks, uh, there's also this energy that kind of swirls around it. So what I did for that was I actually took uh, this metal bit sound, but I ran that through the pitch, uh, and I actually pitched it way up. I also added a chorus effect, and again, it's running through the same reverb uh, that the, the bone break is running through. So if I pull my video window in here, and we kind of watch it just that part. Um, you can kind of see exactly what I'm talking about. So when it comes to the whoosh sound, uh, the rock just flying across the screen, all I really did was I added some reverb to it, and then I did some stereo panning. So for this last bit, um, the, the rock actually impacting into the wall, I took three different sounds, uh, one of which is a spoon in dirt, uh, the second is a rock breaking, and the last one is actually a shovel in dirt. And if you just layer those together, it actually makes the impact sound super weak. So what I ended up doing uh, was I took all three of these, and I did layer them on top of each other. Uh, and I did a little bit of panning to kind of give them perspective on the screen. Uh, but then I went into the very speed in Pro Tools, and I warped them out. And then once I had those three sounds warped, uh, I actually duplicated them twice. So what I what I ended up doing with the duplicates is I took one set and I pitched it down two octaves. I took another set and pitched it up two octaves. And then what I actually ended up doing on the ones that I pitched down two octaves, uh, I did a pretty heavy bass boost on the EQ. So if we go ahead and solo out just the impact, you can hear exactly what we got.
And what I like about this is it does kind of have a, a super fast warble on it, which kind of mimics the metallic sound that we used when we created the rock, uh, just to kind of tie it all together and make it sound really uniform. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, that's how I created Sigma's accretion sound. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about blip sounds and what they do, uh, you can head over to blipsounds.com. There you'll find information on their monthly competitions, as well as some of the training courses that they offer for Unity and FMOD. Now this video is not sponsored by blip sounds, I just think they have a really great thing going on and they have a really amazing Discord community as well. But if you guys like what you see on my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you have any ideas on what else you'd like to see on my channel, please feel free to let me know in the comments section below, or you can get a hold of me on any one of these social media channels. Until next time.